Hey guys, Danny O here, and today I took the time to do the math and figure out the average DPS or damage per second on the top seven highest damage melee weapons of each type. So one-handed, two-handed, and spears. But before I get into the nitty gritty, I made a spreadsheet of my data on Google Sheets, which you can look at from the link in the description below and follow along as I explain what's going on with the numbers here. First off, a few things to note before we look at these numbers. Um, I wanna explain how I got to the numbers and what some of it means. To start off, what I did is I equipped the Barbarian set, I whacked an enemy, and then I put on my Champion's Tunic so I could see the enemy's health and see exactly how much damage they took. I did the same with the Ancient set, using an Ancient weapon, switching to the Champion's Tunic, see how much damage they took. Using that information, I figured out the damage multiplier that the Barbarian set gives and the Ancient set gives and then I also ate a meal with a plus three level attack up boost with the Ancient set because we can stack that. So I got the damage multiplier for that as well. Um, next, I calculated the attack speed of each weapon by using the Gut Check Challenge mini game up in the Elden region because it starts a timer where it'll allow me to start like making inputs on my controller. And after three minutes, it automatically says finish and it stops my character from allowing me to put in inputs again. So I just mashed attack and counted exactly how many weapon swings I got in with a one-handed, a two-handed, and a spear during those three minutes each. And then using that information, I calculated the average attack speed of each weapon type. Then I used the official collector's edition walkthrough to find the top seven highest base damage one-handed, two-handed weapons and spears, as well as the highest possible plus attack modifier they can roll. So we have a min and max range. And then I used that base DPS with the attack speed to calculate the average damage per second. Uh, and then I multiplied that in with the barbarian set and then ancient weapons into using the ancient set and then with a meal. So you see all those numbers laid out there for you. Um, if you guys want, I can also make a video um, kind of detailing exact consistent locations where you can find all the weapons that I took into account on my list here. Um, but for now, I'd probably just go over some quick locations where you want to find those. Um, also, I did not take into account any elemental weapons because they add damage on top of the base damage you see on the weapon in your inventory, but the game does not show you that number. And it also only takes effect when the weapon actually applies its elemental effect. And you'll notice the elemental weapons actually lose its charge after a few hits, and then it takes time for it to recharge. I just thought the math would be crazy and complicated, I just decided to opt out of them. Plus, even with the extra damage, they're not really competitive with the weapons I did put on my list. I also did not take into account any specific weapons that you can only get from Amiibo, so just weapons you can find in the game. Talking about where we can find these weapons, obviously the Savage Lionel weapons you're going to find from Silver Lionels. Uh, and Ancient and Guardian weapons you're either going to find from your major tests of strength, which you can go back and fight those enemies again each Blood Moon. So if you want to keep a stock of ancient weapons, that's what you want to do. Don't worry about the minor or the modest tests of strength. Just do major tests of strength to get the best weapons that I actually included on my list there. Uh, those are the guardian weapons specifically. The ancient weapons that are named on my list, you can actually craft from the Akala Ancient Tech Lab in the Northeast Akala region. Aside from that, uh, the royal weapons made the list, and you can find those in various locations, including Hyrule Castle. Um, towards the late game, just about every Hinox and Molduga drop royal weapons uh, very consistently, so you can get a lot of those from farming those guys, especially um, if you're looking to farm some monster parts from them as well for other upgrades. Great place to find those. And then the royal guards weapon made the list. Uh, they're very strong. You can find those uh, in Hyrule Castle all over the place. Keep in mind, specifically with the Royal Guard's weapon set, you will have a very low durability on those weapons. While they have great damage, they will break very quick. So that's basically it. There's a couple of other weapons in there um, that are 
you know, not in the groups that I mentioned, uh, but that's basically what you're looking for. The two champion weapons did make the list, the Boulder Breaker and the Light Scale Trident. Obviously, you just get those from fighting their respective Divine Beasts. Um, and if you need to make another one, the Cobble Crusher you can find in Goron Town. There's always one in the respective races town uh, that you need to craft the champion weapon. So the, Gor the Co Cobble Crusher in Goron Town is in the south southeast-ish like lone house. It's not a shop or anybody's standing there. It's just kind of leaning up on a box right next to it. So you can grab that. Um, you need flint and diamond, obviously, to craft it. Uh, the Zora Spear that you need for the light scale trident. If you're in Zora's domain, if you go to the level right under where the Zora King is sitting, uh, just behind the stairs, there's a pool of water. Use Magnesis. Uh, you'll see a Zora Spear in the water. You can pull it out and you'll have that to make. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. If you have any questions or thoughts, uh, leave that in the comments below. Let me know if I missed anything or if you want me to uh, check some math on something else. Uh, let me know if there's any other videos that you want me to do. If you like this one, I can maybe do something on shields or bows if, if you guys care. Um, but I just thought the melee weapons were the meat that everybody was kind of interested in and what was important to everybody. Um, so yeah, check out that spreadsheet. Please feel free to double check my math. Nobody is perfect. Um, so definitely if, if you care to take the time, you could double check my math on that as well. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that this helps you guys out in finding the best weapons in the game. You have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.